Hi everybody, it's Pastor Jenny, and I'm here to wish you a Merry Christmas. And actually though, it's not quite Christmas yet, is it? It's a season called Advent. And Advent is the season that is right before Christmas where we wait for the coming of Jesus. Because we all know who was born on Christmas, right? Yeah, Jesus, that's right. But Advent is the time where we get ourselves ready for Jesus. So gee, I wonder what, how could we get ourselves ready for Jesus? Maybe we could spend some time reading the words of, that God has given us uh, to, to learn how to, to kind of live a better life. So that would be reading the Bible, right? Um, or maybe we could be spending some little bit more time in prayer, praying to God, asking him uh, how it is that we can help other people. Or there's an idea, maybe we can be going out and going out in the community and helping other people, right? Doing different things for them. So there's lots and lots of things that we can do. The main thing is just kind of getting ourselves a little, giving ourselves a little bit of time to just really think about God a little bit more than maybe what we usually do if we're kind of rushing around all the time. But there's another thing that we could do sometimes at Christmas, and that is decorate our houses for Christmas. So did you know that, here I'm going to sit down for a minute while I'm talking to you. Did you know, oh well, that's really not good lighting. Let me turn that off. Well, that's not much better. Did you know that in a couple weeks we are going to be asking you uh, and your families to show us some of your Christmas decorations, to show us some of the things that are in your house that are special to you, and uh, to maybe also do some things like singing some songs or reading some poetry or reading scripture. And then we're going to play that as part of our worship service on December 13th. And so I think that quite a few are going to be uh, of you are going to be a part of that. So I'm so excited about that. But anyway, so I just wanted to show you just a couple things around here at my house because we just decorated today. So you can kind of see, look what I'm wearing. Yeah, Grinch pajamas, right? And so we're going to be taking our Christmas picture and we're all in Grinch pajamas. So you'll have to tell me how that looks if you guys get a card from me this year. But let's look around the house and you tell me what you see. Well, I wanna show you some of the things at on my house. So this is what we call our kid's tree. So these are ornaments that the kids got um, since when they were little, up until, gosh, last year. <laughs> so do you see some characters maybe that you recognize? Yeah. So we do this tree every year. Every single year I bought them an ornament of whatever it was they were kind of into at the time. So that's a special tree that's got lots of good memories on. And there's a one that we actually made, Katie and I. Yeah, and then look, I've got some pictures of the kids when they were younger. That's my, my son and daughter, Ben and Katie. And then look at these little angel or these little elves. They belong to my mother-in-law. And she's no longer living, but we put them out so that we can remember her. And then this Santa was on, uh, always on the coffee table at my house when I was growing up. And so we put that on too, just to remember my mom and dad. So just some kind of fun things, and my aunt made that. And then here's our travel tree where we buy an ornament every place we've gone, or at least most places. So you can kind of see, and then look how the bottom is totally empty. Because guess who would get to them if we didn't, if we put them up too high? Yeah. Henry. Henry would be chewing on those, right? So that's what we have there. And then this my mom made because she was a painter. Let's see what else we have over here. Oh, that's something special. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. There's our stockings. I hope I get something in my stocking. There's no coal in here yet, or rocks. Isn't that, in the old days, that's what they used to say, is that if you were bad, Santa put rocks in your stocking. I don't think Santa does that. And then, oh, my cousin made that, and my mom made that. And then here are some, some uh, stockings from our two dogs that are no longer living, Olivia and Francis. So we put those up. And then here's our tree. Yeah. 
And then here's some stuff from our dis last Disney trip when we were there. And my mom made that. So do you see how there's all different kinds of things around, right? Did you notice that? There's things that people have given us, me, as gifts. And there's things that are here that remind me of special people in, our, in, in my life and in our lives. And that's one of the things that makes Christmas so special, isn't it? Is that we see all the different things that have have um, that remind us of people in times in our lives. I made that right there when I was in high school, and I wanted to show you this in particular. Can you see what this is? So it's Santa Claus, right? But and I've got all kinds of Santas up here, right? Look, there's some Santas. There's a Santa with the world, right? All the good boys and girls. So there's lots of different Santas. But this is my favorite Santa. And can you guess why? Yeah, because he, Santa, is bowing down to baby Jesus. And that's a really important thing to me. Because as much as I love Santa and I love getting gifts, it's most important that we remember why we celebrate Christmas. And it's not because of Santa, although Santa is cool, and giving gifts is cool, and getting gifts is cool, but this is why, right? So I want to show you one more thing. Come on in here. We kind of, everything's kind of all out of whack because we've been putting stuff up. But I wanted to show you, these are called a Koresh um, or nativity scene. So there's different ones. This one came from Brazil, and actually it broke. Do you see how I dropped it a couple Christmases ago? So my husband uh, glued it for me. But that came from the, the country of Brazil. And then look, there's another one of those nativity scenes. And there's another one. And this is my favorite one. This one is from when I was little. And this was what we had on our... Um, uh, like a table next to our couch. So isn't it nice because there's baby Jesus? And then who's that? Mary, good. And who's that? Joseph, his dad. Although God is also Jesus's dad in some miraculous way. Did you know that? And then there's the wise men, right, who came. Um, and then there's shepherds. Here's a shepherd right there. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that kind of cool? So this is the reason that we are celebrating Christmas is because of the, all these events. And so this Christmas, we're going to be reading about all these different, um, the, all the different scriptures about how that the shepherds heard about Jesus and they came running and the wise men. Somewhere I have a camel. I guess it's in my other one. Uh, that they came running and they brought gifts to see how they're carrying gifts. And uh, all for the baby Jesus. And then Mary found out, right, that she was going to be having baby Jesus. And she said, okay, God, I don't understand what's going to happen, but I trust you. So this Christmas, we're going to be talking about all these different parts of the Christmas story. We have four Sundays in Advent. But here's the best part of all. See the star and the light behind there? Jesus is called the light of the world. And that means that when things are not so great in the world and there's scary things happening and people are hurting each other or there's diseases around like this coronavirus thing you probably have heard about that are making some people sick. When all those different things are around, we can have faith in God and in Jesus who brings light, right? If everything would be dark, I would be kind of scared. Would you be kind of scared? Because I don't like being in the dark, right? If we're in, the, in a dark room where there's no lights. But imagine if you just would turn on one candle or turn on one flashlight, I mean, or light one candle or turn on your mom and dad's cell phone, right? Suddenly there's light and then things don't seem as scary anymore. And so that's exactly why Jesus came. Jesus came here to earth to help us to not be scared and to help us to trust him and help us to love him and to love God. So this is going to be such an exciting Christmas season. I think maybe um, 
uh, Miss B is going to be coming to our Kids Connection to show you some stuff. And I think Miss Sue is maybe going to read you a book next week. So it's gonna, we're going to have a really fun time uh, with these kids' videos. So I hope that you see them. And I hope that you make your own video and show up me and some of the, our church friends some of the different things that are in your house or maybe special traditions. Maybe you bake some cookies, a certain kind of cookie, and you could show us that. Um, or maybe um, you play an instrument and you'd want to sing a song or play your instrument. So there's all kinds of things that you can do. But what I just want you to remember that as much as we love Santa and we love everything about that, don't forget, this is why we're here, right? Literally, it's how we got here, right? Because God made us and he made us to love each other. So do you mind folding your hands and let's say a prayer together. Can you repeat after me? Dear God, thank you for Jesus. Thank you that he brings light to our lives and to our world. Amen. All right. Well, I hope to see you soon. Take care. Love you. Bye.